What's going on Dino TV man? Back at it again with another video, bro. As you can see, the setup, you know where we at. And bro, by now you see the setup, man. You know what we going with this video. You know what you know what this video contain, man. Nothing but nothing but heat, bro. When I'm in this when I'm in this domain, bro, I'm great. I'm giving y'all nothing but heat. But before we start the video, man, I know you see the shirt. I know you see it. Souls for me, man. Shout out to Souls for me, man. That's a new uh it's a new sneaker store up there in Beaufort, Georgia, bro. We just started about four months ago. And uh, we're doing pretty good right now, man. So huge shout out to Kev for giving us the opportunity, well, me, the opportunity to come and work with you. And, uh, you know, be there from the start because that's, like, pretty huge. So um, before we start the video, man, go to our Instagram. Check us out, at Souls For Me. Follow us because we, we, you know, we growing. So I want y'all to grow with us and, you know, come check us out, man. We're in Beaufort, Georgia, man. 1950 Beaufort Mill Drive, Sweet C. It's nothing but heat great prices we literally got the best prices around like you can ask anybody we got the best prices so come check us out man but with all that being said man we finna go ahead and get into this video Yeah, man, I'm just gonna show y'all everything I caught from like the summertime to the winter, bro. It's like really nothing but heat, for real, for real. But before we start with the stuff that I bought, I want y'all to check out all the stuff that I found that I had before I went to the army. You know, there was just been like around, bro, like my basically at my mom's crib and her storage and shit like that. So first and foremost, man, we gonna go ahead and start with the 2015 Bordeaux Sevens. I know you know what these is, bro. I know you know what these is, man. These is a classic. Sevens ain't really too hot like that. I don't really like sevens like that, but some sevens is just like, you must have like Bordeaux sevens, hair sevens, the Olympic sevens. This is stuff that I personally think you should have if you like, you know, a sneakerhead or a collector, whatever you want to say. But yeah, man, this is one of the pairs I had when I had got out of high school. I, I forgot how I got this. I think I traded a shoe for it or something, but she had it still and it's been rocking and I and she finally pulled up with a whole bunch of my old shoes and I got them now So now I want to show y'all what I had before I went to the service man. Yeah, Bordeaux sevens right here Real real classic sneaker man another one That she pulled up on me with yo excuse the I got so many sneakers down here for y'all bro It don't even make sense, but another one that she pulled up with is my French blue 12s Super clean still, as you see, this is like a super good good cop right here. French 12, French blue 12s, man, super icy still, super, super clean. Look at it, man. Super clean, bro. How many French blue 12s you know out here still? I can probably sell this on GOAT for like 400 bucks, to be honest with y'all. Not the cap. <laughs> Everything's still intact, like, no soul set, no nothing, bro. Like, everything, OGR, still got the box, it's right there, OGR, bro. Receipt in there and everything. Got these, uh, let's see, another high school gym. Olympic sixes, yes indeedy. Got these restored though. Shout out to my boy Ty, he just recently restored these because I just recently got them. So yeah man, he did a hell of a job. The bottom was super, super, super duper like yellow. I wish I could show y'all what they looked like before. But yeah man, my boy hooked these up bro. Olympic sixes bro, one of the classic, one a OG six to me. It ain't an OG colorway, but Olympic sixes, bro. It's like one of the sixes. Like back in high school, it was like, damn, bro. I wish I had them, and I had to get them, so I got them. Olympic sixes, man. Can't go wrong with these. Look at them. They're still clean. Next up, we got these right here. One of my all-time favorites. Literally, probably one of my favorite shoes. It's, it's. I say it's my top five for sure. Top five for sure. A lot of it's not an OG, but this uh Gamma 11 right here, man, it mean a lot to me, bro. I did a lot to get this shoe. Like this is like one of the first shoes I camped out literally all night for at South Dakota Mall. Me, me and Pam got a pair. So yeah, man, we both sitting on these. I got mine's recently restored. She still got her somewhere. She barely wear them, but mine's I took through the mud. I started hooping and working and all type of stuff, but I got them restored. So was coming off. I got a sole swap. This, like, bro, that look brand new again, bro. Now I can wear this shoe, and this this released in uh, 2014, bro. Like, right before I graduated, I got these, the, 
the uh really these released in 2013 december 2013 because i graduated 2014. let's see man what else we got what else we got we got an old classic i got this one out like right before i went to the army pink foams she's still sitting on these but these yellow really really bad uh in, in the store it's like super bad because they ain't have no box i forgot what i did with the box so it was just sitting so they like super mad yellow down there but it's all good man if you know about these then you know a lot of motherfuckers wanted these i also wanted these in high school i wasn't able to get them but afterwards i had you know end up eventually getting me a pair which was great so yeah man the pink foams one of the must-haves if you like foams so i think that's really um all of the pairs that i had before i went to the army now we're gonna get into all of the sneakers that i have bought from the summertime of 2021 till now and man i don't looking at these shoes bro I, I spent i spent a lot of money i ain't gonna lie like this shit get dangerous if you like <sighs> shit y'all i need some help but yeah man let's get into it bro first and foremost if you seen my first sneaker collection uh video at the end of my first video i was saying my boy mark had the motherfucking black toes and he finally sold me the black toes, y'all. The boy Mark gave in and gave me the black toes. And y'all will not believe how much I paid for the shoe. I ain't gonna even disclose that type of information. Just know I'll never sell it because of the price he gave it to me. It's like, bro, that's nothing but love. But yeah, man, I finally got these, even though we had to go through a lot because my boy got these from whoever and, you know, we wasn't too sure if they was legit. And then we did the whole check, check and legit checks and take them here and take them there and paying people and, and yeah they was good so i definitely got these up off my boy he finally gave in and i had to cop them it wasn't like it wasn't nothing else to say about that so black toe ones man the classic i'm mad that these is a size 11 because you know most of my ones are like 10 10 and a half but shit i got two pairs well i had three but i got two pairs now that's a size 11 in my ones and, you know i still rock it just double sock or whatever but yeah, man, black toe ones. Another, uh, I might be stupid for this. I'm not too sure how y'all feel about it, but I'm not mad about it. So first, I'm gonna start with the the first one I bought, the uh, OG Shadow Ones. Um, I pay, I ain't gonna say I paid pretty high, but I did pay like a pretty penny for these. And um, they was OG y'all, bro. Like. The camera ain't gonna get it good, but if you can see, bro, they still got the glitter, bro. Like, I still got the box, the uh, the receipt. Like, you can see it a little bit here, y'all. But I got these, and then you know I wore them. I think I wore them twice since I bought them. And then um, recently, in HATF, shout out HATF, man. I found a steal. It was no way in hell I was gonna miss this steal. So, like I say, this is another one of my Jordans that I got in the size 11. So I really don't like to wear it like that, but it's a shadow one so i'm definitely gonna keep it and if i sell it i know exactly where i'm gonna sell it to but yeah man and hatf man this was a super duper still i came across one day i just woke up normally i just type in my size in the little search box 10 and a half and this shit came up somebody was selling these for 170 bucks you think i was gonna sleep on that and it's a size 10 and a half bro like the box and all bro like Come on, bro. I know they like he warm a little bit. Like he warm. I ain't gonna cap, but like for this condition, bro, and 170 bucks for a shadow one, ain't no way in hell I'm gonna pass on that. And it's my size. You got damn tripping if you think I'm gonna pass on that. So I definitely got it. So I'm not mad that I got two of these. You might be mad. Let me know down below if it's like a stupid purchase to you. Cause I wanna know, like, was this like just a waste of money? Cause I got two of the same shoe. But you know. Y'all let me know, man. Comment down below. But yeah, this two of the shadow ones I caught recently this year. Um, we're going to get into me personally. This probably, <laughs> I ain't going to put it like that, but it's probably one of, it's probably one of my ugliest shoes in my collection. I ain't going to lie. But to each his own, you know, I got these uh, biohack ones right here. I don't know. I ain't get them for retail, but I also didn't pay the high. I think I paid like two twenty, or some shit like that, two two thirty or something like that. I wasn't mad about the purchase, but I bought them. And now I just don't really too much know how I really feel about these shoes. Don't get it wrong. Like I've worn them probably once or twice. Well, I probably worn them once. 
well twice but um i don't know man on the pictures like before they was releasing i was hyped up to get the shoe and when it came out i was just like yeah i'm not i wasn't stressing it but i found that it's attf for a steal so it was like you know one of those shit fuck it why not bro why not just add it to the collection og all box receipt all that so yeah man i copped them biohack ones let me know how y'all feel about these is this like is this an ugly jordan one to y'all i really want to know comment down below man biohack ones though um another shoe we're gonna go with is what i caught recently too for a steal pollen ones i put the uh well, he already had the white laces in it, but the white laces, that should just make it look so much colder. At first, I wasn't a fan of these, but, bro, hey, I wake up, get in the group, type in my size. These is a size 10, though, so I found these for a steal. I paid, like, 120 130 for these. 130 for these. Shout out to that boy, Savvy TV, man. Y'all go follow him on YouTube, too, bro. That boy doing big things. But, yeah, I got these from Savvy. And they is in super duper good condition. He won one time. He sold them to me for 130. OG all receipt, all that. Like, it don't get no better than that, bro. I literally like I live for steals. If I live for steals, I don't give a damn. You feel me? And they like, bro, like at the prices that they be throwing, there's no way in hell that I'm gonna pass up on it. Cause if I sleep and somebody don't get it, I'm definitely gonna find it in that group. And I will get it. Trust and believe that. But yeah, man, that's the pollen ones right there. Another shoe that I had got before, like I got these in the army. Long story about these, I got True Blue Threes in the army, and then I sold them when I got out. What? Well, I sold them in 2020 to my barber. No, no, no. I sold these in a in a bulk deal to somebody on Facebook. I sold a couple pairs for a really cheap price. I'm really mad about that because some of the shoes I wish I had back, and I had to get this shoe again so i only paid 220 for these which is what i paid when i got it and i still got my my receipt and the receipt and og y'all so it was just like me having the same shoe again as you would say but yeah i sold it and then i got it back so yeah i know that was kind of dumb but it's a true blue three i could not sleep on this it's a it's an og bro like this is one of the shoes i was pretty mad that i let go so i definitely had to go and get it back so i did true blue threes man let me know what y'all think about these, bro. This one, and I'm not even a huge fan of threes, but if it's OG, I gotta get it. Like the white cement threes, I gotta, I gotta find them, and I'm gonna get them. But yeah, true blues, man. We can start with some Yeezys, you know. I got these Moth 700. But yeah, shout out to my dog Eli, man. He got these for me on a uh, drop. You know, I got them up, up off of him because he do the little Yeezy shit. So. I appreciate that my boy because these are super nice bro it's a nice colorway you can literally wear it with a lot like super blue jean light blue jeans like you can wear these with a lot bro I like this colorway they not the wave runners I want some wave runners so bad but this is my first 700 right here and I'm not mad that this is the first one you feel me because it's not bad but other than that I want the creams and the wave runners yeah so I'm gonna get them sometime soon but yeah man I got the 700 mauve however you said mauve Stupid ass. We just talking about Yeezys. We just gonna keep going. One of my most recent cops. I got these from my job. Souls for me, man. Shout out to my job. Got these uh, 500 utility blacks for a good price. Really, really good price. And I was not gonna sleep on that. So this is my first 500. I really didn't know how I felt about these shoes at first because of the way they look, just like sitting around. But honestly, bro. I be rocking these shits. You can rock these shits. If you know how to dress, bro, you can rock these 500s for real, for real. And they feel comfortable, too. They're not bad. They're really, really comfortable. So, I got them. 500 Utility Blacks, man. Let me know what y'all think about these. These are nice shoes. I'm not gonna lie. I like these a lot. Nice shoe. Nice shoe. Um, a Re-Retro. Oh, no. We still on Yeezy, so we gonna finish it off with this one right here. This is 700 V3. Uh, I forgot how to pronounce it. No, no, no. This is Sapphire. These are the Sapphires. Yeah, 700 V3 Sapphires, man. I wear these a lot. I wear these to school a lot. They comfortable. They beaters to me for real, for real. And I only paid like 240 for these, so I'm not mad about that. Yeezy 700 V3 Sapphires. We're gonna go ahead and go with the re-retro that they did this year of the sixes. We got the Bordeaux sixes. 
crazy thing about this, I had um, my boy Mark go to Linux for me. I was at work at the time. He went to Linux and uh, got them for me because they were still sitting. Then he brought them to the job. You know, I looked at them, posted it in there, ATATF. I was like, I said something crazy. And then I think like the next day I sold it. And so, you know, they was like on my head on that shit in the group. But it is what it is, bro. I, you know, it is what it is. Long story short, these shits are still sitting around in the mall. So I guess that meant something. So I just bought it again, bro. It, it, like it is what it is. I got it for retail. I sold it for retail and then I bought it for retail again. So. It is what it is, bro. Bordeaux sixes, man. Re retros. I had to get it. It was just like calling me. So, yeah. Now we gonna get into some spicy stuff, man. We gonna get into some spicy stuff real quick, cause the video I'm about to go ahead and end this video. So first and foremost, before I started uh, picking out these shoes for y'all. I was looking, I was looking, and I had pulled these two out because they was the top two. I still got two more. They're like buried in that corner. I got um, lot uh, six and lot, what, well, lot six and lot two. And then this right here is lot 10. This is the one that I hit for my first ever sneakers hit. And I had my account for six years. I had hit this, but crazy thing is, I hit this in the size eight and a half, then I had to wait a super long ass time to find a side swap so yeah man i got these lot tens pretty nice colorway damn for it. this one i traded at my store straight trade for my pine green 1.0s for these let me know if that was stupid because at this point i'm really about ready to go buy my pine greens right back off the shelf they're still sitting there nobody want to buy them man y'all come on bro what's up that's a nice shoe what's up go buy it before i do but yeah, man, this is lot nine right here. I'm trying to figure out where all this hair coming from, y'all. This is lot nine right here. Pretty, pretty colorway. This is, uh, I put this one on. The first time I put it on, I ain't gonna cap. That picture that I took with D, that shit was, that shit was dope. But yeah, man, lot nines right here. Let's see, let's see. Since we on dunks, we might as well keep talking about them. I got these, uh... I didn't hit on retail, but I had one of them so bad I had just went to go and bought them the same day they dropped. So I got these Cheetah Dunks right here. They're pretty, pretty nice, bro. Like super, super nice, the material on them. Like everything about this shoe is super dope. I love it, I love it, I love this shoe. This is like a super, super dope dunk right here. Cheetah Dunks, bro. If you ain't got them and you ain't know about them, now I'm showing you. Cause they got a, another pack, it's a, a Zebra. And they they are right. they the black ones. I still bound just cause it's a pack, you know. But yeah, this is the one I wanted the most, the cheetah dunks. Pretty nice, man. Let me know what y'all think about these. Please, please leave a comment below what y'all think about these, cause I think these is like one of my top shoes. We're gonna go with the uh cobalts right here. Uh I got these out the group from one of my boys. He sold them to me for retail basically. It was like no, it wasn't retail, I'm tripping. I paid like 170 for them though. Which wasn't bad. Then I had, that was a size 11. Then I had size swapped it at my job for a 10 and a half. So I got the Cobalt Dunks. These are like my kick around shoes. If I'm finna go do something real fast, like run to the Walmart or the store, anything, I put these on with a heart, with the quickness, like no cap. They're pretty beat. They worn, like y'all can't really see it cause of my camera, but they're pretty worn, man. The round here is like scuffed up and shit like that. And then I got these for my job as well. The veneer dunks. Let me know what y'all think about these. A lot of people don't like them, but then again, a lot of people do because of the colorway. But I like different shoes. I like different colors, man. And I, I thought this was nice, so I definitely went on ahead and copped it. So shout out to Sosa Me on this cop right here because uh, this is one of my better, better dunks right here for for sure, for sure. Yeah, I think I think I like these better than uh, my like my off white dunks, for real, for real. So I'm gonna show y'all two more shoes real quick. And they personally are my favorite two cops of the year. So I'm gonna say I saved the best two for last for y'all. So first and foremost, we're gonna go with this right here. This motherfucking New Balance, man. The 2002R Protection Pack. This right here is the sea salts, bro. If you know, like I know, I should have listened to my dog Eli. Cause he was telling me, Eli hit on like, he hit on good stuff like, he know he be talking about I ain't gonna lie, bro. But he hit on the uh, the first ones, the, what is they called? The uh, rain clouds, and he wanted to sell them to me. And I was just like, bro, I'm not buying that shoe. 
Like straight up, I didn't buy it. He was gonna give it to me for a great price. And oh my God, y'all will not believe the price on them right now. That shit makes no sense. That shoe like a thousand dollars in certain sizes. The rain, the uh, rain cloud protection pack. So I got the sea salts off of him with, with like with the equipment. He had one. I got it in a size ten. New balances I can wear a size ten because they like, I don't know, bro. They just feel different. Like I can definitely rock New Balances in size ten. Like all my New Balances size ten. But yeah, protection pack, sea salts, man. Really nice shoe. A lot of people now. Uh, that I see now is um what are they dying the shoes you know customize them I I'm not that good so I'm just keeping like this and probably get another pair to like have somebody do it for me pay somebody to do it for me but these are super super nice nice color right here like they go with everything literally and they super comfortable I would like y'all see this is literally one of my favorite shoes bro literally look at it shit look good don't it and then um. Another huge, 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 huge shout out to my dog Kev and my job souls for me, man. I'm so mad that they like, bro, I had to go into work. Like I walked past the shoe. I seen the box, but you know, most of the time stuff don't be in my side, so I ain't paying no attention, bro. I seen the box. I walked to the back. I came back. The box had a size tag. Cause you know we put all our size tags and price tag and the name of the shoe on the box, bro. I seen the box, I almost cried. Nobody called me to said that they came in. I mean, I think I don't know if they heard me when I ever told them this was like, like literally my one of my grail shoes. Like it's possibly my top threes, bro. What the fucking Kobe Sevens, bro? Bro, these came in size 11, bro. You know, I, like I caught these shits the same day. Like, I caught these shits within two hours of me seeing it, bro. It was no way I was letting this shoe hit the shelf, bro. It was no way. I love this shoe, bro. This shoe came out in 2012, bro. I always wanted this shoe, and I was never able to get it at the time. Not even really afford this shit. But now, come on, bro. Ain't no way I was sleeping on this. And my boy sold this to me for a, a steal, bro. Like, OGR, bro, it still got the receipt in the box, y'all. The receipt still in the box, yo. Come on, man. What the Kobe Sevens, bro? That's it for the video, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. Was my uh was my cops from the summer to now? Was they heat? Was they trash? Was they was they alright? Was they good investments? Like, let me know, bro. Did I spend too much money? Comment down below how much money you think I spent for real. And then um. Yeah, bro. If you get it right, I probably give you a shoe. If you if you can tell me how much money I spent on these shoes alone, because I probably told y'all how much I spent on half of them if you really paid attention. But leave a comment down below how much you think I spent on these shoes, bro. But with that being said, man, Dino TV, we out, bro. Okay. Bye.